Hey guys, this is Jake with Cedar Rapids CrossFit. Uh, we are going to be doing weekly workouts. So it's going to be a weekly workout challenge here on at Cedar Rapids CrossFit. Uh, then we're going to be giving you some natural, uh, some tools that you can use at the, at the gym, at home, if you're out running, just to break up the monotony of your workout. So today's challenge uh, is it's going to be 10 rounds, three different um, sections within that uh, workout. And we're going to educate you guys on how to do everything properly and then get on with the workout. Uh, today I have Justin and Kelly. They're going to be showing you the workout and demonstrating how to do everything correctly. Uh, so if you can see on the board today, we're going to have 10 rounds. We're going to be doing push-ups. We're going to be doing sit-ups and air squats. Something that's very easy for you guys to do and it doesn't take uh, much to get it going. Uh, so we're going to do 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, 10 air squats. So the way we're going to be doing our push-ups today is Justin and Kelly are actually going to be uh, starting down from a, uh, on their stomach from a down position, and what we actually call these are hand-release push-ups. So from here, all the way down to the ground, Tommy's going to start on the ground, and from here, push all the way up, come all the way back down to the ground, release your hands off the ground. This is a true, honest push-up compared to staying up and doing just a letdown. Okay? So the first part is going to be hand-release push-ups. Second part, jumping over to our ab or our sit-ups. From here, uh, we use this little mat, it's called an ab mat, which is actually helping us with the curvature of our lower back, helping the lower lumbar system. If you don't have an ab mat, uh, if you have a, a towel that you can roll up to put in your lower back, that will actually help also. It just supports your lower back so you can actually do this. Uh, with this position, we're actually going to take the bottoms of our feet together like a butterfly stretching position, put them together, we all the way back, hands are going to touch on the floor, and you're going to come up and touch your toes. Very, very simple, really effective. By letting your knees go out to the side, it's deactivating your hip flexors, so it's going to focus more on the core. The third part is going to be our sit or our, I'm sorry, our air squats. So, what we're using for our squats today is just a, a regular uh, size med ball. And from here, the idea is to try to break 90 degrees with your knees. So, keeping your chest up, squatting all the way down, your butt's going 90 degrees, or if you can go past a little bit, that's what we're looking for. Keeping the chest up, eyes forward, down and up, very simple. It's like sitting in a chair and standing up. So uh, that's something that we do on every day, um, you know, at work, wherever it may be. So what we're gonna do, like I said, 10 rounds. We're gonna do two rounds just to kind of demonstrate and show you real time what's going on. So we'll get set up. Okay, so we're ready for the challenge, uh, the workout challenge. So in three, two, one, go! So remember when you're hitting these push-ups, hands come off the ground, all the way down, all the way up. Remember, we're doing 10 of everything. So 10 push-ups, all the way down, all the way up. And when they get done with that, automatically get right to the sit-up area. So we're going to hit that at sit-up. Remember, keep your feet bottom together, touch the ground, come all the way up, touch those toes. This is as fast as you can possibly can go. To get done with that, we're going to hit right back at your speed, uh, air squats. Shoulder width, chest up, butt touches the ball. If you have anything at home to use, a chair or whatever it may be, or just be able to get your butt past your knees. We got one more round. Go back to the hand with these push ups, all the way down, release, right back up. Was only two rounds and they're already winded. So go 10 rounds as hard and as fast as you can, and that's going to be your challenge for the week. We'll see you next week.